Greetings, this is Dr. Derek Ong with the next video on using SPSS for statistical analysis um, and research. Um, this video, I'm going to be introducing you how to use SPSS to do independent sample t-tests or sometimes it's also known as the two sample t-tests. So the first thing we need to understand before we do a two-sample t-test is that um, we are looking at comparing uh, means uh, between two independent samples. Uh, how do we know that these two samples are independent? We must first check that the uh, population from which the samples come from are indeed uh, independent of each other. Sometimes they can be mutually exclusive, but this is not the case all the time. So for this example, we're looking at gender, where we can see uh, gender uh, 1 represents male and 0 represents female. And we're going to be looking at whether or not there's a significant difference in terms of their salary. So let me show you how to do this. Uh, this is our uh, our data, um, gender and salary. And go to analyze. Go to compare means. Uh, independent samples t test. Um, the test variable, of course, is the um, variable of interest, which is the salary. And, of course, gender we put in as the grouping variable. Now, be very careful here um, when we define the groups of the variables. You notice that there are two question marks. This means that the system is actually waiting for us to tell us what mean minus which mean, uh, which group minus which group. So I'm going to basically say um, group 1 minus group 2. So I'm going to basically say uh, the male group, which is represented by 1, minus the female group, which is represented by 0. Now this basically means that we are specifying to SPSS how to use the formula uh, that is used to calculate the differences in mean. So, um, if I were to change this later on from a, a zero up here and a, probably a one up here, then the T stats might change signs. But uh, it doesn't matter whether you put a one or a zero or a zero or a one. Just be uh, careful with the T sign and be careful with what hypothesis you put down. Okay, so just press continue. Uh, press OK. And there you go you have the um, statistics, the results. So firstly, of course, look at the group statistics. You've got the separate statistics for uh, sample size for 10 for male, 12 for female, and then the individual means, and also the standard deviation. Uh, the important thing to look here is, of course, the independent sample t-test. Now, Looking at the independent sample t-test, of course, we always make sure that uh, we note what is the Levine's test for equality. So I'm just going to write down here for you. So firstly, um, independent samples t-test. We are looking at the main hypothesis which is there is a difference in salary between gender, right? So that's our hypothesis. And the main, um, sorry, the main output here looks at the Levine's test for equality of variance because one of the assumptions that the independent sample t-test looks into is whether or not the variances are equal. So basically this is what they will show uh, in terms of an assumption is that are the variances uh, equal? And this means the variances between male and female. All right. So our H note say variances are equal. 
So do we then look into um, the top level T because they have two T's or the second level T? Of course, then we look at the F statistics here. Uh, here it says that the F is uh, 0 0.261. So uh, F, uh, we can write our results. We can say that variances are assumed equal. F, I'm just going to uh, 0 0.261 with a p-value of more than 0 0.005. F uh, equals to 0. Uh, two six one p of more than zero point zero five, and um, so I'm going to look at since since we do not reject the null hypothesis of equality of variances as one of the assumptions, then we look at the top. T and not the bottom T because the top T, the degree of freedom is a little bit easier. It's actually N um, 1 plus N 2 minus 2. So we look at the T down here, degree of freedom 20, so uh, T 2.505, uh, the salary between gender is significantly different. You can write T uh, 20. This, this of course, has to go into a subscript. Um, yeah, just write a subscript down here, sorry, change that to a subscript, there we go, T20 equals to, sorry, T20 equals to 2.505, 2.505, and a p-value of less than 0 0.05. Yeah, uh, and this is how we report. So, um, so the only difficult thing for us to check is to ensure that we know uh, which. Um, T stats to use basing on the Levine's test for equality of variance, right? Now you can also use the other means, uh, the mean difference if you want to. Basically, it's the um, mean between the males minus the females, and of course the send, uh, errors as well as the 95% confidence interval. Now again, I, I do mention that um, if you were to change the grouping around uh, uh, just now, um, then uh, the female comes before the male, then of course the T's would then have a negative in it. So yeah, just, just be very wary of which hypothesis you're using. So in this hypothesis, we are assuming that we're using mean of male, which is the group 1, minus the mean of the female salary. Sorry, F female, which is grouped uh, zero. Okay, so that's the uh, results. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.